Jamaican born Chef Troy shows off his cooking skills at the Island Ballroom. Yeah, man, you don't know you're watching Come Chat with me. See, and today we're inside of the kitchen here of the Island Ballroom and stand next to Chef Chai himself, is it? What one, big man? Oh, so, there, I do. Blessings, man. There, I give thanks to Come Chat with me in the kitchen, you know? I saw the thing, man. You don't know, I don't know a long talk in my day, I you know. I don't know if you have something to whip up you know, nicely and thing. You know. What are you on the menu today? You know, I had a ragamuffin tofu balls we are going to use today. Serve it with some garlic mash and yeah. green banana. You know it go? Alright. Fish and Jamaica style, you know? So run the thing then, man. We don't keep up the, keep the time longer. See, see what I go on. Alright, so what we have here today is some firm tofu. And we have our firm tofu. We just kind of squash it out a little bit. And you know, our thing, you know, we always have to have our seasoning and our spice. So what we have here, we got some red bell pepper, we got to add to it, some green bell pepper. Don't know, we have a ginger, we have some ginger, we have some thyme to it, we have some scallion, we have some yellow bell pepper, and we have some scotch bunny pepper, simple as that. And for the spices now, we have some hard spice, our people call it pimento. We have some salt and pepper. Not too much, you know, our thing. We have some Cajun spice. And some old beer. Basically, that's it, you know. Let's combine it together. And the thing that we use to hold our binding agents, we usually use some breadcrumbs. So we use the Japanese pinko breadcrumbs just to hold it together, you know. And it's simple as that, man. And you know my thing already, we always have to make sure say, our thing looks sexy, so we ball them out nice and easy, you know. And it's simple as that, you just put them in the fryer, you know, and drop them in the fryer and get it cooked well easy. And we have some that we have pre-made right here already, that we have fried. So we're going to make the sauce to go with it. Our sauce, we have some coconut milk. You know already, at the kitchen you can't get through that, you know, big. You know, add that to it. And we have some pumpkin. So add the pumpkin to it. So that's for some pre-cooked pumpkin. Add our pumpkin to it to make that sauce. While well, that gets simmer, I'm going to add a little bit more of this bell pepper that we had left over. You know, some more bell pepper. Our skeleton. Scotch bonnet pepper, you know, we love with pepper spice and everything. Some more garlic. And some more thyme. Simple as that. I'll just bring that to a nice boil. See the direction we're going to Ziggy, right? Yeah, man. Let's bring it to a nice boil. All the flavor, right? I'll just give it a little bit of season. You know, I'll hold it because you don't know it having all of the flavors of the herbs already. Salt and pepper. A little bit of allspice. That's basically it, you know. Simple ragamuffin, and then we just add our tofu bars to it. So we just add our tofu bars to it and give it a nice simmer. And while that is simmering, take a little break and come back and show, we'll show you how we plate it and we'll come back, you see me? You must say, your man a cook or what? Because come like say, the way the man spicy thing, like the man ban cooking. You must say, play some ball first. Or you, you love cricket and everything before you come out of the cooking, man. Well, what go on? Give a look at history about it. You know, sir, honestly, um, it all started, you know, at early age of eight, you know. Eight, really? Eight, really? Yes, man, because we have, we have a one sibling at that age. We have a yeah. one sibling, and a little sister, she just born, and 
So I brought him, him a, the younger one to follow me. Yeah. Yeah, man. So we used to have to prepare, you know, a quick snack for him when mommy got to work. about eight years old, man. My stepfather, I'm feeling sick. Yeah. And him have a restaurant, you know? He yeah. have a little restaurant and him have a go on. And him feels sick one day, man. And he say, yo, listen, I'm going to want you to put this yeah. and this spice and this flavor. This amount of scotch bonnet, this amount of this and that in other part. Yeah. And I just go to the restaurant and I deal with it, man. And See. I tell the people who are surprised to know. None of them never none of them doubt me. They never know some me we you actually cook. That. Yeah. yeah man. And you know, so from this so we kinda just more geared towards cooking. You know this one that fried the for chicken and I'm asking and everything. You know really find a cooking there. What, what's the type of cooking you really are specialize in? Well honestly, honestly, we have we have a thing that we come out with now in Spice of my hand, taste of my hand. Taste of my hand is a campaign that I'm branching out, you know, making people know because I've been in people's house cooking at private events. So oh. I'm, you know, giving, giving it a name, giving it a brand yeah. where a person could just hire me to come cook in their house and, you know, I'll definitely let them taste my hand. Yeah, man, the chef do him thing. You see me, I say, nice and easy, just like that. Chef, where is the one in here, man? What a spice in here, man? I had a ragamuffin tofu bars, man. Chef try ragamuffin tofu bars and we serve with a garlic mash yam and some green banana, you know? Simple, easy dish, you know, for all vegan and vegetarian. Yeah. Nothing to it, man. One, two, three. 